Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com and today we're going to show you how to root the Sony Xperia Z. So in this video, we're actually going to show you not only how to root the device, but also how to unlock the bootloader, um, which Sony allows you to do, which is great. Um, flash a custom recovery image and also root the device. So let's get started. Okay, first we need to check to see if our bootloader can be unlocked in the first place. So we go to the phone and app, and then star pound, star pound, and then spell out service. C R V I E, -E and then pound, star, pound, star. And then service info, configuration, and down here at the bottom it'll say bootloader unlock allowed, yes or no. If it's yes, uh, you can go through with the procedure to unlock your bootloader. If it's no, then you have to uh, root and flash a custom recovery using our method that doesn't require the bootloader to be unlocked. Okay, so you may be wondering why my procedure is a bit longer than most of the rooting procedures uh, that you find for the Sony Xperia Z. Now, the reason that is is because I want to make sure that you keep your DRM keys, which are these keys that Sony puts on the device um, that when you unlock the bootloader, they actually get wiped. So there's a few extra steps in here to kind of root first, then back that stuff up, then continue with the rooting process and unlocking the bootloader and all that, simply because you want to be able to put those back. It keeps your warranty fully intact, it fixes the Bravia engine to make sure it still works, and Walkman music. If you don't have those DRM keys and you just went straight through unlocking the bootloader, you would lose all of that. Um, so, bottom line is, this procedure is longer than most, but it's definitely worth it. Okay, we're going to go to settings. Uh, developer options, turn them on, hit OK, and make sure USB debugging is checked on, hit OK, and we're going to go back to settings, go to security, scroll down to unknown sources and turn that on as well, and hit OK, and last thing we're going to do in here is go to display, go to sleep, and make sure it's set to at least 10 minutes. Okay, so then we're going to download the rooting script by clicking on that link there. And saving that to our desktop. Okay, you're gonna extract the Doomlord rooting script by clicking, right clicking it, hitting extract all, and hitting extract. Wait for that to finish. And then you can open that folder, uh, and you plug your device in at this point, and it should install the drivers automatically. Then we're going to double click the runme underscore win dot bat. Hit run. And then once you confirm all of that stuff is done, which you should have already done it, you're going to click enter. And wait for it to finish, and then the device will reboot. Press any key to close the command prompt. And we okay, next we're going to do a little thing to solve an issue with the bootloader um, saying that we can't unlock it after we use this root method. So go to File Explorer, go to Desktop, go to the Doomlord easy rooting thing, then Files. Then we're going to hold Shift on the keyboard and right click somewhere in a blank area in this folder and hit come Open Command Window here. Then we're going to go back to this page here, and type the following, adb shell, enter, su, enter, and then rm for remove, slash data, slash data, slash com dot sony erickson dot android dot service menu, slash lib, slash lib service menu dot so and hit enter and there we go and then we can type exit and exit okay now that we have reaccess we're going to back up our ta uh, so this is the thing that allows you to keep your DRM keys, which is important. So we're going to click on that link there to be taken to the 
developers XDA thread. And then you're going to click the download link and save that to your desktop, which I've already done to speed things up. And then you're going to find it and double click it to extract it. Oops, sorry. Right click it and then hit extract all to extract it. And hit extract. Wait for it to do that. And you're gonna double click that new folder. Double click the folder inside that folder. And double click backup hyphen ta dot bat. Hit run. Uh, read the disclaimer. Hit enter to continue. And say waiting for device. Once that's done, it's going to ask you for an option here. We want to back up, so we're going to hit one. Uh, read that little disclaimer there, and then hit Y. And you can hit enter if you need to. Otherwise, it will automatically try to find stuff. It says, cannot find it by name. Uh, if you want to perform an extensive search, hit Y. And wait for it to now do an extensive search to find it. Make sure that on the device you tap grant when it pops up and says uh, super user permission is being um, accessed. Uh, and then let the command prompt continue. Eventually it will find it and start backing stuff up. And wait for that to finish. Once it's done, it should say integrity check, okay, that's good. Everything is okay. Backup successful. Now you can press any key to continue. Once it's done, we're going to close the command prompt, open up the backup TA folder, open up the one inside, open up backup and we should have a backup dot zip in there. Make sure you don't delete this or delete this folder or anything like that and keep this for as long as you're going to have this device so that you can always restore this backup. On the device, we're going to go to settings, scroll down to about phone, then status and find our IMEI and we're going to write that number down and uh, in, say, Notepad or some other text editor on our computer. Then on the computer, we're going to go to unlockbootloader.sonymobile.com and scroll all the way down to start unlocking the bootloader. Then uh, scroll down some more. Click continue. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes, I am sure. Uh, yep, it says that it avoids my warranty. Yep, I accept. Um, even though we can actually reinstate the warranty um, because we saved all those DRM keys, but don't tell Sony that. Then you're gonna fill out a create unlock bootloader request by putting your name, your IMEI, and your email. And then hit submit. And it will make sure you put a valid email here because it will send you something that we need via email in order to unlock the bootloader. Okay, then we're going to download Fastboot. Uh, click on. And save it to your desktop. Once you do that, we are going to extract it. And it's extracted here is fine. Open that up. Open up Fastboot. Uh, and then we're going to right click. Well, we're going to hold shift on our keyboard and right click in here. And now open command window here will pop up. Do that. Okay, minimize this bad boy. Okay, we're going to turn the device off first. Power off. 
Okay. Wait for it to completely turn off. Then we are going to hold the volume up button while we plug it into the computer. Keep holding volume up. And then you'll see a blue light up here at the top. You can let go. Then in the command prompt, we are going to type uh, what's written in step 11, which is fast boot dot exe i 0x 0fce space oem on lock space 0x and then key we're going to put in the key that we have gotten from sony f60 e22 e and of course your key will be different than mine don't type mine in 0a7acb and then hit enter and it will unlock the device's bootloader Okay, next we're going to download our custom covering. So we'll click on that link here. Scroll down to downloads. Do the stable one for the stock ROM. Click download. And save that to your desktop. And then you're going to actually, then you're going to take that file and actually put it inside your fast boot folder and then inside the fastboot folder inside there. So this way it's in the same place as fastboot.exe. Then, then we are going to, or we should still have our command prompt open from the last step. If it's not, you know how to open it. Uh, and then we're gonna put our device back into fastboot mode by turning it off and then plugging it back in while it's off and while holding fast or volume up. Then once that happens, we can continue here and actually type in the command fast boot dot exe space flash space boot space boot hyphen twrp hyphen v2 dot img and hit enter and that'll flash a custom recovery. Okay, then we need to download SuperSU by clicking on that link there. Scroll down and find the download link. And click download again. Then save it to our desktop. Then we're going to open File Explorer, go to Desktop. We're going to right click the file and copy. Then go to our Xperia Z to the internal storage, right click and paste. Then we need to download the recovery uh, reboot app just to make things easier. So click on that link there. Scroll down to get the APK file in the first post. Save that to your desktop. Then open File Explorer, go to desktop, click on it, click on it, right click. Copy that, go to your device's internal storage again, and once again, paste it in there. Okay, on the device, we're gonna go to File Commander. Internal storage. And click on the xzrecovery.apk app to install it. Then we're gonna go to it and hit Reboot Recovery. And wait for it to reboot into recovery mode. And once in recovery mode, you're gonna tap Install. Well, actually, let's go back. You're gonna tap Backup. And we're going to swipe to Backup and wait for that to finish. Okay, once that backup's complete, hit Back, Back, and then install. Scroll down to the supersu.zip. Tap that. Uh, confirm it and wait for that to flash. 
once you're done, you're all set. And there you have it. Now your Sony Xperia Z now has a custom recovery image on it. It has an unlocked bootloader and you have root access. So the next thing to do would be to go to our site, click on how to's, then Android, then Sony, then this phone. Uh, and you'll see all of our other how to's uh, for after you've rooted, such as removing the bloatware off the device, uh, get rid of all that stuff that Sony and T-Mobile put on there. Um, maybe even overclocking it, undervolting it, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So go check that out. Enjoy.